In this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to go over the basics of how to make a good secondary color correction or qualification. First one is actually my primary color correction. What I did here was just balance the color and made a nice looking correction that will allow me to do a good secondary color correction qualification in the second node. So what I want to do here is actually just pick up the sky. Now as you can see here, we've got different levels of brightness here. So we've got the sky area, we've got this bluish area on the bottom of the mountain here, and then we've got this even sort of darker tint there. The below area here is actually greenish because this is actually the trees. So what I'm going to do in this second node is just isolate the sky. So what we do here is just left mouse click in this area with the eyedropper. I come to my highlight control and I'm pretty close, but as you can see, I've got a little bit of speckles there. And this is because the if I look down here in the qualifier area, the qualification is a little bit too narrow here. The minute I change the width and widen that up, you see it now starts coming there. But then what happens, once I widen that, I start picking up other information that I don't want. So what I want to do is then go to the saturation and luminance qualifiers in order to get rid of this uh, fallout. So what I do here is go to the low qualification. As you can see, if I adjust this, I start bringing the mountain top there, which I don't want. So what I do here is just adjust this a bit, like so. A very fine adjustment. And then I go to the high area. Adjust that. And it doesn't seem to be changing much, so I'm going to go to the luminance area. So as you can see, if I adjust the luminance, that starts to eliminate what I want to get rid of. So I take that out like so. And then I come to the high area. And then I can pick that up. You see, if I take the high area down, it starts to take away the sky, which I don't want. So what I do is I pick it up like so. And then I change the width here a little bit in the hue area and then change the centering to make sure I'm properly centered over that color range that I want. And then I reestablish the width of it. And there, I've got it. Come back to here. Just widen it like that. So there I have it. And then I can come up to my controls here to clean up the qualification. So if I want to get to the denoise area, I can uh, select this a little bit like so. And then once I get out of that, I say, okay, that's good. I can come out of that function now, and now I can change the correction just for the sky area of the picture. So for more tips and tricks like this, have a look at the other videos on our YouTube channel. And for more information about training services, have a look at the link in the comments below. Thanks a lot.